Pinterest a lot of interior here. Today I'm just going to show you my windowsill. These are, a, a, well you'll remember in the last video I did a video about overwintering in a greenhouse. Well, this is overwintering indoors because for many reasons that could be because I've got young plants in here that I need to bring on or overwintering plants that will not survive outside even in the cold hardy greenhouse. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, what I'm growing on the windowsill and what I'm trying to get through the winter um, and what I'm raising indoors to try and get a head start on them so if we start from this side, the sunny side I'll show you first here so here, if I can focus it over this I can't see a thing myself So, but here I've got a yuzu seedling, this is a citrus unos or, or, or yuzu chandran as it's called and it's a little uh, baby citrus um, seedling and I've got it in here to bring it on a bit at the moment winter is open to give it sun so that's why I've got the window open even though it's a chilly day it just, it just likes being in the sun as much as possible and uh, next to this I've got this um, salvia this salvia here, this uh, yeah what else? The reason I've got this indoors is because I want to uh, collect seed from it. I want to um, I want to ensure that I've got a lot of seed for next year's bedding. So uh, I've been collecting a load of seed, and I think I've got some to show you. If I, if I can get it here, there we go. So as you can see here, that's off this plant on the windowsill here. So as you can see, lots of salvia splendens, and I hope. I hope this is actually the larger version, not the, not the, um, well this is, this is the, uh, like the miniature version, it's like the, the hybrid version, um, so I'm hoping that that's the actual salvia which will get bigger, um, and we'll have to, and then I can do some testing to see what it's like in the climate we've got here. Um, next plant along, this is actually, um, an agave attenuata uh, it's a good sized plant I got I, I originally got this as a cutting from um, Spain so I was on holiday in, in um, Malaga in Spain and they were growing a load of these so I just got myself a little cutting off one of the plants so bought it home and uh, it took nicely of course I did quarantine it because you know not good these days to bring stuff home unless because uh, you know what diseases are floating around but um, the next plant is here is uh, I've got these here uh, you can see here these are um, this is a lantana camara um, it's a standard lantana um, again like the salvium growing these for seeds I did get the seeds, um, but I threw them out, which was stupid of me. Um, so I'm going to have to grow these again. These are starting to flower again, though, so hopefully um, I'll be able to get some more seeds uh, over winter. We'll see. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, next plant I've got here is uh, it's more difficult to get to. This is. This big uh, plant here that reaches up to the window so this is salvia confertifolia it's a uh, it's a, a less than hardy salvia so i'm uh, i'm using this uh, plant to take cuttings off right now in fact i took a cutting the other day and it's starting to take and that's it that's salvia confertifolia cutting from this plant so i am uh, so i'll be taking a few more cuttings of those hopefully and that will that means I'll have a few uh, plants for next year. These are not hardy, of course. I'll have to leave these out. They would just suddenly they would die back and probably die off. Um, next plant I've got in the front of this, if I show you, is these are where are they? Right here. This is Alocasia calidora. I bought this plant online. Um, and uh, I bought this plant online not long ago, and uh, this is um, I'm bringing this I'm bringing that one indoors to uh, overwinter because like when you leave them outdoors they die back. So I want to get some 
I want to get some growth on it, I want to get it big and uh, so I can put it outside next year in the bedding. I'm going to probably bring it back in every year but uh, they, they are hard enough to stay outside but they, they take probably in our climate to cool. Uh, they won't make a full like growth uh, in the summer. So, In fact this one that I just showed you had a, a little pup on it and I was repotting the soil yesterday, bring it back in, repotting it and uh, it had a little pup next to it and uh, this is this one so I've got that there there it is I've potted that up and uh, bought it inside as well so I've got two of them now um, I've got two more this is um, oh, I've forgotten the name this is a this is a variety of succulent I've forgotten the name of it now unfortunately but it's uh, it's in the Mesembryanthemum family and uh, has amazing flowers. I'll do a video on that soon when I get when I get the chance. I grew them from seed, which uh, so I've got two of them, and I'll be planting them outdoors eventually because they're quite hardy. I've forgotten the name though. I'll uh, I'll find out and I'll put it in the in the video for you. Um, the next ones I've got are these really rare. I've grew these from seed. Remember, um, these are uh, Dendroceras littoralis or the um, the, uh, the tree daisy from the Robinson Crusoe Islands and this is it at the moment so it's growing as you can see it's got these lovely venation in the leaves um, and it's got a little a little trunk it's growing there so whether you can see it but yeah these um, I'm keeping these indoors obviously because they're not they're only young they're not hardy they're susceptible to pest and disease and uh, if I keep them outside they could get taken out by all manners of diseases so I'm keeping them protected in here. Um, the, the last few now are there's this one here this is this climber here um, and I'm growing it up here as you can see it's not overly obvious but you can see there yeah and this is an Australian pea and I've forgotten the, I've forgotten the name of it again but it's a really 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 attractive looking uh, climbing plant from Australia and it's got these really vivid pinky orange flowers and when it flowers I'll do a video on them because they're really interesting and they may be hardy enough to go outside um, in a microclimate so um, I'm going to do that I'm going to do a video on that later on when they flower um, and finally really is our, this little plant here which is a Brugmansia cutting that I took um, Brugmansia sanguinea which is the uh, the red and yellow variety, um, the hardier variety that I've got on the allotment that comes back every year. I've got that um, here. Um, I'm going to bring this on and, and plant a few more of them. I'll probably take some more cuttings uh, before winter sets in proper and bring them on. Um, so yeah, that's it really. That's my windowsill and if I turn it around, you can see in all its glory, they're all there and they're all going to stay here for winter. So. Uh, um, so I'm going to keep them here for winter and they'll be happy there and then uh, next year I'll move them where they need to go or probably outside in the next greenhouse and on the allotment. So yeah, that's it for now. If you like this video, please leave me a like, uh, share it with anyone who might be interested and please subscribe to my channel um, and I'll see you next time for another video.